Hi guys, welcome back to Amateur Priority Toys. As you can probably tell from my thumbnail, this is probably the most unique toy review I've ever done. Um, so this is the Batmobile from India. And most of you are probably wondering what that means. Well, it's by a company called Fun School. Um, so this was a birthday gift from my best friend Brandon who also has his own channel, which I will link in the description because he is also doing a review of the same Batmobile. Um, so when you finish up with my video, you should hop on over to his channel and check out his review of the Batmobile from India. So all my information comes from him. This is a company in India that apparently purchased the rights to the Kenner uh, molds from uh, the Batman line, the Batman the Animated Series. So this, as you, some of you might be able to recognize it as the Night Striker Batmobile, um, which is a Batmobile that was released during the New Adventures of Batman. Um, let's just move this. Oops, I bumped my camera. So you can see there, it's a little more recognizable. Same same Batmobile he also used in the Justice League TV series. Um, so it does come with a figure also. This is the Bruce Wayne that changes into Batman. Um, comes with the missile that fires and the Batman fits in there. But I have a lot of questions going into this. Um, because this is supposed to seat two figures, but they don't really advertise that. And this is just, like, this is black back here. So I don't know if the extra seat is back here or not. We'll have to find out. Um... But what is also interesting is some of you might recognize this figure. It is the Bruce Wayne to Batman. Uh, I don't remember the exact official title if it was Quick Change Bruce Wayne or something like that. But I got mine loose, so I didn't have the parts to mine. But it looks like he comes with his parts. So I'm curious to see how these are going to fit onto him. I just have so many questions about this thing. I'm very excited to open it up. Um, as you can see, this is a new 52 that it looks like. I think that's new 52 Batman. Not the animated series, but there's a DC logo. Um, and here at the bottom, it's got official, mer it's official merchandise. It's very interesting. And their logo is very similar to Fisher Price, I will say. So, one more thing I want to mention before we open it up. Uh, yes, the box is a little crunched. It has traveled a long way. But it says that it includes free Batman action figure. <laughs> so this Batman is free. He is not factored into the price. When we purchase figures here in the US, usually they are factored into the price. According to this, this figure is free. So you're only paying for the Batmobile. <laughs> I don't know if that's something lost in translation, but it's just kind of funny to point out. So, Batman is in there, but usually with the vehicles, they're like in their own bubble off to the side or something. He is rattling around in there. So this thing has rattled around all the way from India to the US. And then Brandon, my friend, purchased two of them, one for himself, one for me off of a seller from eBay. So from there, he got shipped like that to his house. So I have no idea what condition this is actually in. So this is gonna be a fun review. Let's get this out of the box. Okay, so I just pulled mine out of the box. So I figured we will go through this together. This was just sitting in the bottom. So this was the rattling around, I think, that we heard. So the missile should just load in right there I won't fire it yet um, oh it has fired on its own okay <laughs> so you flip that and then you push the lock forward okay so there's the hood as you can see I didn't even notice in the box but this is a clear top which is interesting um, the hood is gray Batman sticker 
Now he's got Batman stickers on the hubcaps. Blame stickers going on the side. Got some nice brake light stickers on the back. No exhaust or anything. And I will pull out the original Night Striker Batmobile to compare in a minute. Let's... Okay, it's just fired inside the hood. <laughs> uh, let's get out the Bruce Wayne. Okay. Ooh. Look at that face. Oh my. Okay. So... Come on. <laughs> Uh, not quite as uh, as nice. He also does not have the push-in head, which is interesting. I'm wondering if either this is different or I'm incorrect and this is not the correct Bruce Wayne. We'll see. Anyways, let's get this off him. Actually, no, let's leave it on. His mask on and his okay so our Batman is suited up and his armor does actually look really cool there is no bat symbol there's no coloring on the belt nothing like that um, the cape is nice, nice cloth cape, decent size, which I really like. I do have criteria when it comes to cloth capes, and this one's doing pretty well. So I can kind of close around him. But I'm also noticing this Bruce Wayne has much wider shoulders. So I don't know if this stuff would fit him, but... We're going to go ahead and try that right now. So let's take the suit off of this Bruce Wayne. Okay, now let's suit up the original Kenner Bruce Wayne and see how that goes. I'm not sure if these pieces will fit. They are a soft plastic. Um, but it does seem like this Bruce Wayne is a little skinnier. So it does not totally fit right. It wants to pop off. Um, let's go ahead and try the arms. Uh, same story. Still, he's a little too. <laughs> he's a little too thick. He's a little too pumped. Um, I think the chest piece will fit though. Chest piece will fit. Um, uh, the head. It fits, it's just a little tricky because the gimmick is not the same. So, but that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. So let's get these pieces back on him. Okay. Before we put him back in his Batmobile, I have one more thing I want to test. I have one more red Bruce Wayne, <laughs> coincidentally. But I want to see what this guy's mask and cape will look like on him. Let's just slide that on there. Not too bad. Not too bad. So there's some options here to switch stuff around. But let's move back, move back over to uh, the Batmobile now. Okay, so going back to the Batmobile, let's go ahead and see if it does have the extra seat. And it does. So, two-seater Batmobile. I remember seeing the commercials for the uh, Night Striker Batmobile uh, when I was a kid. They played before the Mystery of the Batwoman DVD. Uh, before the movie played, they would play the commercial and... I just remember wanting that thing so badly and I actually did get it eventually. I have it right here and I actually got it from my same friend, Brandon. He got it for me off of eBay. So there it is, the original. 
and it looks like they are pretty much the same. This one feels a little heavier, um, but I do have a couple figures in here, some random figures. I'm using this for storage, um, but it is pretty much the same sculpt. Um, yeah, I, I can't really see any major differences. So mine does not have the stickers. Um, they did at one point, you can kind of see them amidst the dust. Uh, somebody peeled them off. But yeah, my friend Brandon got me this off eBay. So now I have Nice Shaker Batmobile, the original, and the Indian Fun School version. So, so they both have the same gimmick. When you push this little notch back, you get the flip open hood. See? Look. Oh, it literally just shot me. Okay, so the fun school one does not like to hold on to its missile at all. Uh, it went pretty far. It hit, hit me like right in the hand as I grabbed my camera. But. Um, yeah, shoots pretty good. There's the headlights. I didn't even notice that before. Headlights on this one. A little more detailed. But... So here's a comparison of the inside. Pretty much the same. The original has more sticker detailing. But the sculpt is the same, even with the cushions on the seats. Alright guys, now I've got the Batmobiles loaded up with some figures. Let's take a look. So in here I have Batgirl along with the Batman from India. They both fit just fine. They are ready to go. Uh, one benefit of having this kind of clear hood I realized is you can actually see the figures and see that there are two sitting in there together. Um, something the Night Striker Batmobile you uh, don't notice. There's no way to tell. There are two figures, so when they're driving, you get a good view of the back. The Night Striker one, the original, you can't really see the figures. Not that it's a bad thing, but in here we have Batman along with a Nightwing. Like I said, I always thought that it was so cool that you could have two figures in this Batmobile. So let's go ahead and switch the Batmans and make sure they both fit in either Batmobile. So Batman from India fits in here just fine. And the more wide-shouldered uh, New Adventures Batman does fit just fine in the new Night Striker Batmobile. One last comparison I wanted to make was to see if the Batman from India would fit in the original animated series Batmobile. And he does. He is sitting in there just fine. He's got plenty of room. So that all looks really good. And unfortunately, my Batmobile has seen better days. <laughs> But it is very cool having all three of these together. Okay, one last look at the cockpit. See that these all fit all these figures very nicely. They are all ready to go. Looking good. And just like in the review I did for the 1989 Batmobile from Spin Master, I thought we should test it out and see how it looks in the Batcave. And it looks great. And so does Batman. Bruce Wayne fits in his chair very nicely up here. The Batmobile, as you saw, fits in the garage just fine. And here is our original Bruce Wayne. And one more thing I want to point out before we end the video is that I think these parts from this Bruce Wayne look really good on him. 
the, only the chest piece and the mask fit, but even just putting the mask on him, that looks like a pretty cool Batman. I really like that. So let me know what you guys think of the Batmobile from India. I think if you never got the Night Striker, um, I don't really know if it's hard to find or not, or pricey or not, or if this Bruce Wayne is difficult to find. Um, either way, it's a good alternative. Um, it's also just a nice piece to have, a nice variant to have next to your original Night Striker Batmobile. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Huge shout out and thank you to Brandon for getting me this, of course. Please go check out his channel. Um, link is in the description. And he is going to be doing a review of the same Batmobile. So, anyways guys, that's it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I want a car. Chicks dig the car.